I have to try hard this right now, though, I think. But it's like, what is like, what is, I'm a Very confident, I'm too confident. What is, oh, you're like, it's like a seam flat or something. It's not a normal flat zone. You go, everything's covered. Just nothing's even close to being open right now. YouTube, what's good, man? It's Puzz, and today I'm coming at you with a Madden 21 defensive tips video and a defensive setup that'll bag anything tight. So, first off, the play we're going to be going over uh, is cover four, show two. Now, this will bag with the right adjustments. It'll bag bunch head end, bunch tight, uh, anything really like that. Um, it even bags. Oh, it even bags U trips, which I found out through just like messing around, Labin versus U trips, and it actually does really bag it. So adjustments I use in my ball and air play ball conservative option tackling aggressive. Don't do this unless you have uh, deflators. I have deflators, so I do it on aggressive, so I can deflate them. Um, and then this is the most important part. You want your flats on 30, curl flats 5, auto flip on. And then once again, mountain nickel 335, got your good players on the field. Let me just do this real quick. Uh, sure, I like this. All right. So, cover 4, show 2. Press A. As you saw, Civil was in bunch head end and he couldn't move the ball. So we're going to come out in bunch head end. Going to run PA boot over. So, the defense, what you're going to want to do, baseline press. Put these outside corners in curl flat or in cloud flats by going double Y, B down on the left stick, double Y, X down on the left stick. Blitz your user. Spread your line and crash up by doing uh, left D-pad, up D-pad, left D-pad, up on right stick. And then with this X, the linebacker X there, Holcomb, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Holcomb. Um, you can put him in anything. I like put him in a vert hook. Uh, a bluff blitz three rec would kind of work. Sometimes it glitches out and he just starts running over to the sideline and he like runs out of bounds. It's really weird. Um, but yeah, you could. I like putting him in a vert hook or manning him up and shading. You you always want to shade over top, by the way, so the curl flats play normally. Um, so yeah, Holcomb, you can do anything. If he's if they're running boot over a lot, I like to man them up and shade inside, so I'll play the drag. Um, and then put him in a vert hook even. And then I I wouldn't recommend bluff blitzing them. Putting them in a three rec because it will glitch out. It's really weird. So with these two safeties, you either want to leave them there. Or if you're getting beat over top, if these clouds, I'm, I'm telling you right now, nothing will get over these clouds if you're putting them on 30. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But if they are getting beat, you can put, if the only thing is like a, a streak route. Uh, like with a fade, the clear out fade out of Seattle or motioned out verticals. As you see here. AI is just really weird. So here's the defense again. Don't know why I didn't do that. Yeah, baseline press by doing Y and then right on the left stick. And then Y down on the left stick. Uh, do the adjustments here. And then if you want, you can put one of your D tackles in a spy. Um, if it's boot over, I like putting the guy on the right in a spy, the right tackle, or the right defensive tackle right here. Um, and then. Yeah, this will just really bag everything. And as you and you saw when I was playing civil, this linebacker, right? Or er, excuse me, yeah, this linebacker will play everything from a hook or a, a hitch right here to a uh, a flat over here. You have to have high zone on this guy too. By the way, it can't just be like an eighty zone linebacker. It has to be someone good. I didn't want to use her on him. But you see, by the way, nickel three three five wide is in Giants. It's in four six. It's in most most playbooks. So here's setup again. Also, if you want to shoot runs, here's a little tip: shooting inside zone. All you want to do is shift away from the running back, crash up, and then uh, stand 
right over the right tackle and then just run in. It'll shoot inside zone, but if you want to shoot quick base, you have to do this. You have to slant right. So shift your D-line to the left, crash right, and then sit right here, and you'll shoot right there and blow up base. But um, yeah, this is the bag for really anything compressed, any compressed formations. Computer can snap the ball. You can see nothing's open. So yeah, that's part one of the video, which is the defensive setup, which will bag anything compressed. It'll bag anything tight, like bunch and bunch head end, or tied off set. So here's part two, which is showing you how to strafe boost. Now, strafe boosting is the best way to use your Madden. It's what all the pro players do, but it's kind of underground. Not many people on Players Lounge and and Mutt and Rags and Weekend League, they don't really know how to do it. So, how to do it. You blitz your user. And here, I'll just do this. This is a really popular setup where you just have a post and a slant, and you just choose between one of them. Here's what it looks like using it with a strafe boost. You see how I'm like boosting to it? I'm not really cutting like I would be with a normal user, I'm just boosting to it. Without a strafe boost, you're not really going to be using that. If you see it too late, you're not going to be able to get to that. If you see it just late, maybe you can be get you can get to it, but if you don't, there's no shot. But with strafe boosting, you basically get to 105 speed and then back to 99. It's it's crazy good. Now, how to do it? And what you want to do, here's the setup again, I'll just motion this guy over, how to do it, you're going to want to sprint, obviously, first blitz your user, run, just, just user one route, and then if you want to cut back to something else, you're going to want to release right trigger, press on left trigger just the tiniest bit for like a quarter of a second, and then let go and go back to sprinting. You're going to need to practice it. It's pretty hard. It's not all too easy. Uh, you have to, like what I said, you have to right trigger. So you're sprinting, cutting back to something, releasing right trigger, left trigger for the tiniest amount of time, back to right trigger. So here's what it looks like again. You see I'm boosting there. It's basically you're strafing for the tiniest amount of time just for it to register as you strafing, and then you're going back to sprinting. So I'll show you one last time. You go here, you're using one thing, one second, you're using the next. It's crazy. You can get to every route on the field with this. If, it, if there's a broken down play, it's even better because you can just really quickly, you don't have to do all the cutting you do. If you don't strafe boost, you can just easily go from one route to another. It's like you're flying across the field. It's crazy good. But yeah, that's it. That's how to use her, how to play defense against tight formations, and how to play, how to just be a better Madden player. I know it's July. Uh, I know people are really only playing CFM in money games right now, but hey, better late than never. I've been running this defense for a while. I just didn't really want to release it. Because I didn't want it to get big and then everyone else use it because it's, it's the best defense in the game. It bags everything. I mean, except spreading trips. But still really good. And oh, yeah. Guys, boys, uh, I'm editing the video and the end of it got cut off and I can't replace it. So this is going to be the outro. Make sure to like and subscribe, comment, and yeah. So.